on another overnighter. Just go and uh, pick up a mate of mine, Mike, and uh, yeah, get on the road up to Spot X. We can get in so far with the quad and uh, yeah, go and shoot some deer. It's Mike's birthday, keen as for a birthday hunt. Are you ready to go? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Alrighty, on our uh, travels out to uh, where we'll pitch a tent, um, Mike, aka Camo Man, there you gotta go. So, um, but that's good. Got a bit of fine weather. I'm not so sure about tomorrow morning, um, but we'll um, just have to suck it up if it starts raining. But yeah, hopefully we've got a good window tonight and then even into the morning. But yeah, can uh, find a spot to pitch a tent and, and then go and find. Uh, get to the blind as such and get some eyes on a face that will hunt for this evening. Stay tuned. Green. Alrighty, made it to uh, our little, our little posse. Nice bit of shade. Tent can go there. So I learned a good trick off uh, Joe. Many of you guys would know him. All you got to do is just throw the bag out there, so. So I just got to get it on the sweet spot there. Boom! We got it! There she is. Camp O for awesome. No. <laughs> <sighs> Mean. 20 past 3. Uh, got a couple of hours to burn, so. Time for a cup of coffee. Some water. Chillax. And then, uh. Get over yonder to go and find us something for Mike to shoot. Mean! <laughs> Alrighty, had our snacks and coffee and what have you, and we're just gonna head off and get to an area for a good advantage point and glass a couple of faces. Saw our little hind, uh, that hind earlier. She was on the other, uh, or not the area we were hunting, so that was a bit too far away. We weren't gonna go and chase that. This stuff should be closer, but. She's gone anyway. Um, yeah. Bang. Go for a hunt, go and peg a deer. We've got to, uh, got to a little posse here and just glass in the face. It's just gone five, uh, so we've still got a few hours really up our sleeve, but yeah, it's just uh, getting sort of a good advantage point so whether we sort of shift to a slightly closer position, but seen a couple of way over, but that's not really the area we were hunting. And to get over there, it sort of wastes the chance of being able to shoot this stuff here, so should be there coming. Surely. Oh, there's a rabbit. Or here. Anyway, okay. We'll touch base in a minute. 463 or something like that. So, we've changed, we've come to another area. Well, we've seen deer from a distance, so we thought we'd try and see if we can cut it in half, which we more or less have, but it's still sitting at about 460 yards. So. <sighs> I haven't shot much past 275. Um, but whether we give it a nudge or we, I'm not sure if we can really get closer to where we are at the moment. It sort of cuts back round onto the bush and to get a closer shot, we're gonna have to find a clearing in the bush to get across, but I mean, it might work. But I don't know, should we give it a nudge, see if we can get it, get it down to sort of three? Yeah. So, I'll get the big camera on and show you what we're chasing. And there's three over there, but uh, yeah, obviously a little way ways. Um, but yeah. And then there's the mean recovery after that. <laughs> Roll it down to the bottom. Roll it down the bottom. Tenderize that meat. But uh, I'll. We'll see what happens anyway. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Get the camera on. Just in the back of that shoulder, I know that I've got it. You can thank it if you want. Standing way 
I think I got such a fright off the first round, I wasn't, it was so much louder. But it travels fast. No suppressor. No suppressor on the 308. She did the business though. Solid effort. What is it? 150 grain? Yeah. It's a mean pill. It's hit. Super. Oh, there's another one standing there. Yeah. Is that another one? No, you're right. You see it? Next. Just there. Straight across. Oh, fully. Yeah. That's not one of mine, is it? Have a look. They looked pretty shaky. down into that gully. Well, we're both happy campers, yeah. A um, couple of deer down, and she's, the mission's on to go back, uh, drop the packs, and Mike will get over there. Um, and then I'll be able to get a part of the way there on the quad, um, and then I'll come and, um, come and uh, get up there with him and, and get to find the other one as well. So, you know, we can see one of them and the other one's down in the gut, so we'll go and find that as well. But yeah, it's good. A couple down. of deer down. Mean. Solid shooting by Mike, so I'm sure you can come hunting again with me. It's <laughs> good. But uh, yeah, and then we'll uh, get back to camp and have a hot feed and have a fizzy and chillax. Mean. Tally ho, let's roll. Flies are trying to attack it. Beauty, young yearling. Dirty blowies. Shop bro. Hey. Mean. Bit steeper than it looked. Yeah, a little bit steeper. What we do to get a bit of venison, eh? <laughs> it's just in there. Okay. Yeah. You just grab him by the head and pull him. Grab him by the head and pull him. Grab his antler. I would help you, but I can't really get in there, so I'll just leave you to it. <laughs> it feels broken. Come on, buddy. Not far.
Mainers, back at camp. Got the meat cooling down on the tree. Shot Mike. It's got some good shooting. A few back straps there. Got the wheels, back wheels. Um, yeah, time for a feed and a fizzy. And go to bed. <laughs> we might give it a nudge in the morning, see how we go, but um, yeah, got what we've come for, so pretty heavy, pretty heavy. Good shooting. Good. good shooting. Oh, morning. Morning, Michael. Morning. Bit of rain coming in as what was expected. Uh, but yeah, just leisurely start. We got some meat, so it wasn't a push to get out and hunt this morning, but I don't know, it's just gone five, so one or two we go and poke our nose over the hill and see what we can see, but it's more or less a bit of a pack-up mission really and, and get out of here, so have some breakfast and cup of coffee. Alrighty, time to get out of here. Sounds good. It's going to be a wet one, but that's alright. 